2022 was an amazing grand adventure. From one corner of the United States to the other, from Mount Rainier to the Florida Peninsula. Deserts, mountains, lakes, rivers, ocean beaches, and more. 38 campsites, 27 states, and over 7,500 miles towing our fifth wheel across the country. All the while finding great hiking, kayaking, sightseeing, and more along the way. Boondocking on gorgeous public lands in the west and campgrounds back east. Of course, we have our favorites, and we're going to look back on the best of the 2022 Grand Adventure season throughout this episode. So stay tuned. As with all of our videos, we'll put a Google Maps pin down below in the video description for each site that we feature in this episode. We'll also link to each original episode for a more in-depth look at each location. Each season we change up our best of retrospective slightly. And our look back on 2022 is no different. This year we're going to revisit our top two favorites in no particular order in each of nine categories. Best Boondocking, Best Public Campground, Best RV Park, Best Mountain Town, Best Beach Town, Best Desert Town, Best Hiking, Best Kayaking, and Best Sightseeing. First up is Best Boondocking, and the first favorite we'll showcase is Blankenship Bridge, located a mere five miles outside the entrance to Glacier National Park and featured in our episode 268. Northwestern Montana was experiencing an uncharacteristic summer heat wave during our visit, so we were particularly fond of the water access right from our campsite. We arrived with friends and left with some new friends too. This is a popular spot that serves as a great base camp for exploring Glacier National Park or simply relaxing in camp, watching rafters and drift boats float by. Blankenship Bridge features dispersed camping on National Forest land occupying a gravel bar right on the Middle Fork Flathead River. If you're thinking about camping there yourself, realize that access to the campsite is extremely tricky and requires a high clearance vehicle. We barely got our 33 foot fifth wheel in there and wouldn't have been able to do so with anything longer or with a motorhome any bigger than a Super B. Another thing to bear in mind is that the mere existence of this site has become a contentious issue with locals who have sued the Forest Service to close this area to camping, and it's quite possible that those opponents may harass you during your stay as they did to us. You'll find no such issues at our other boondocking favorite of 2022, Rutherford Beach, along the Gulf of Mexico in southwestern Louisiana from our episode 286. The sand here is firm and supportive for any size RV, and the locals are happy to welcome you here. It's tough to beat oceanfront boondocking when you can find it, and Rutherford Beach is a true gem along the Gulf Coast.
The category up next is Best Public Campground. And by that, we mean a campground operated by federal, state, county, or municipal government. Our first nod goes to Pinnacan Ridge County Park in southeastern Iowa's Lynn County from our episode 272. The Wapsipinnacan River, referred to locally simply as the Wapsie, flows right through the middle of this 966-acre park, and many of its campground's sites are located right along the riverbank. Water and electric sites cost $25 per night, while dry campsites will set you back $18 per night. And all are first come, first serve. Another favorite public campground from our 2022 Grand Adventure is part of a Florida State Park, St. Andrews State Park in Panama City Beach from our episode 284. If you can manage to score one of the waterfront sites in St. Andrews, you'll have a Gulf Coast experience that's second to none. These are full hookup sites costing $35 per night, and the campsite pads are some of the largest that we've seen anywhere. Next, we'll turn to privately owned and operated RV parks. And for our first stop, we're going to remain in Panama City Beach in episode 284, where the Sun Outdoors Resort is one of the finest we've found anywhere. Facilities are first rate, site sizes are generous, and everything is meticulously landscaped and maintained. All of this does come at a price. For the $87 plus tax we paid for the night, ranks as the most expensive campsite we reserved in 2022.
We'll stop in Ohio for our other favorite RV park of 2022, Campbell Cove RV Resort and Campground on the shores of Lake Logan, just down the road from Hocking Hill State Park, which we visited in our episode 275. These folks put a lot of thought into the design and layout of their RV park, and it shows. This is another campground with exceptional facilities and lots of elbow room. While the hiking and scenic splendor of Hocking Hills is only a 10 mile drive away. This is another one that will hit you in the wallet too. For their midweek rate of $65 rises to $75 per night on weekends. When we consider the candidates for best mountain town, we look at both the scenery and what there is to see and do in the area. Our first favorite isn't so much a town as it is a region, and that's Lake Tahoe, straddling the California-Nevada border. We headed there for our episode 260. There's a whole smorgasbord of sights to see and things to do, including kayaking, hiking, biking, horseback riding, boating, shopping, emptying your wallet in a casino, hanging out on lakefront beaches, and more. If you need things that you can't find in South Lake Tahoe, Tahoe City, or Truckee, Carson City and Reno are just a short drive away. And we found some positively gorgeous mountain boondocking a short 30 minute drive south of the lake at Border Ruffian Flat. When it comes to mountain towns, however, it's tough to beat Bend, Oregon, from our episode 265. You can kayak right through the center of town in this microbrewery capital of the Pacific Northwest. 
or grab your bike for a relaxing pedal around town or an exhilarating lift-serve downhill run at Mount Bachelor. One of the toughest questions we're frequently asked is where's our favorite place we've been? And that's an impossible question to answer. Deserts are different from mountains, which are different from beaches. It's simply not fair to compare. We found a couple of beach towns that we positively loved. Like Tahoe, our first favorite oceanfront area isn't so much a town as it is a region, and that's down east a collection of tiny villages in the far southeastern corner of North Carolina that we visited in our episode 278. What drew us to Down East is how delightfully underpopulated and undeveloped as a tourist attraction it is. These tiny fishing villages beg the traveler to relax, slow down, and take it easy. Maybe grab some fried local shrimp or clams. Sit back in your camping chair, and drink in the waterfront views, which we did from our campsite on private land secured through hip camp. You'll pick up on a theme here, but our other favorite beach town discovered this summer is Cedar Key in Florida's Big Bend area, from our episode 283. Isolated from the rest of the world by extensive coastal swamps, Cedar Key is relaxing and laid back. There's enough tourism here to keep a visitor entertained for a week or longer, but it's thankfully limited to one primary waterfront street. If you're in a hurry at Cedar Key, you just don't get it.
Our 2022 travel season started out in Nevada, which is where we found our two favorite desert towns this year. Showcased in our episode 255, Pioche is home to fewer than 1,500 residents, 180 miles northeast of Las Vegas, and there's nothing else for many miles in any direction. This former mining town sits in a juniper forest at 6,000 feet, and residents have transitioned to welcoming visitors instead. Yet, it's far enough off the beaten path that it remains unknown to many. There are trails for ATV riding, ruins of the town's mining past, and Great Basin National Park is an easy day trip away. Quirky doesn't begin to describe our other favorite desert town, Goldfield, Nevada, from our episode 256. This former mining town's population of 234 makes Pioche seem like an urban metropolis. Joshua trees dot the desert landscape here, about 250 miles southeast of the state capital of Carson City. You can spend an entire day finding and exploring funky desert art installations. Take a tour of a still active gold mine or search for rare minerals in this forgotten corner of the Nevada desert.
We'll travel nearly clear across the country to southeastern Ohio to one of our favorite hiking areas discovered this season, Hocking Hill State Park, which we hiked extensively in our episode 275. Here you'll find over 25 miles of hiking trails through thick, deciduous forests, leading to spectacular rock formations, waterfalls, and recessed caves. For our other favorite hiking, we'll head back to Lake Tahoe from our episode 260. Whether following some of Tahoe National Forest's countless marked trails, or bushwhacking your own route through these Sierra Nevada mountains, you're sure to find something to please. We'll head north-northeast to one of our most special paddling experiences of 2022. 
Glacier National Park may be one of America's most popular, but you can escape the masses in the park's North Fork sector at Bowman Lake. You'll need a reservation to enter this portion of the park, but those reservations are extremely limited due to the nature of the unpaved roads up here near the Canadian border. We were entirely alone on Bowman Lake in our episode 268, and the views of the surrounding Rocky Mountains are unsurpassed. Our other favorite kayaking experience of 2022 couldn't be more different. North Central Florida is home to a number of high volume freshwater springs, one of which feeds the Rainbow River, which we paddled in our episode 283. Spring fed water means a remarkably crystal clear river with colors ranging from dark green to bright aqua, depending on what's along the bottom.
Before we head into our final category, best sightseeing, let's define the term first. For our purposes, we're using sightseeing to describe a driving tour or some other low impact means to get out and enjoy the scenery. For our first favorite, we're going to head to Lassen Volcanic National Park in Northern California from our episode 261. The park scenic drive passes right through the heart of the park, topping out at over 8,500 feet. Along the way, the road passes numerous lakes and volcanic features, including steam vents and mud pods. Most of these sites are located right next to the roadway. We'll head once again clear across the country to our other favorite sightseeing in North Carolina's Outer Banks, which we visited in our episode 277. Virtually everything along this long, narrow necklace of Atlantic Barrier Islands lies along North Carolina Route 12, including beautiful natural beaches, scenic lighthouses, historic structures, shallow salt marshes, and more.
you can even take a ride on the free vehicle ferry to Ocracoke Island. So 2022 was a huge year for Grand Adventure. And we're now trying to figure out what Grand Adventure 2023 will hold for us. We're now stationary for a few months in Salt Lake City. We'll get caught up on a few chores, get caught up on our sleep, and try and get a little bit of skiing in in between while we plan our 2023 Grand Adventure. So if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer yourself, this is the perfect time for you to go smash that little subscribe button right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you never miss a grand adventure that we air every Wednesday evening. We'd be truly honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. But understand, it is extremely important to us that if you like this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. And while you're down below, that's where you'll find the comment section where we always love to hear from you each week. So until next Wednesday, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.